Hello, this is Nick from Review Outlaw. Today I'm going to show you how to mine MaxCoin. So, we're going to get right into it here. First thing you want to do is go to ReviewOutlaw.com and we're going to click on how to mine MaxCoin. I'm also going to provide a direct link in the show notes so you can check that out. Um, so let's just quickly look at what MaxCoin is. It's a brand new coin. It uh, was just released in February. Uh, the release was not too good. They did not have a Windows uh, wallet, kind of nice GUI wallet or graphics user interface wallet set up. Uh, so it was a little bit of a not so good of a launch for them. They had some Linux and uh, Mac wallet, but not the Windows you had to compile it yourself, which was very difficult. So what I've come up with here is just the easiest way that I've found to uh, mine MaxCoin. First thing uh, we want to do is you actually want to disable the antivirus. Reason being the software we're going to use to mine MaxCoin and pretty much any altcoin or Bitcoin mining software is going to show up as a virus. So um, I have Norton antivirus. I'm going to just disable it here for about 15 minutes. And you've McAfee, same thing. Um, if you find that as suspicious, that's smart of you. Um, you always want to check. Um, you know the show notes, uh, comments anywhere if you're on any website, and always make sure that the comments are good. Um, the, the issue is all mining software comes up as uh, a virus, and your antivirus will automatically remove it. Uh, if you really don't trust the software, you could always try a, a program called Sandboxy, which will isolate the software um, and not allow it to spread kind of throughout the system. So it'll protect you from um, spyware, malware, but still allow you to use, use the software. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up an online MaxCoin wallet. Um, reason being, the software they give you is DOS-based. It's a real complicated nightmare to get it set up if you don't know what you're doing. So the basic user, I would just recommend uh, a wallet. And Coinsy um, has a wallet that you can set up. I've provided a direct link right here for a direct uh, sign up. So it's free to sign up and basically you just need your email and a password and you're going to sign up here. I'm already signed up. So once you're signed up and you log in, you want to go to manage funds, down here to manage funds, click on that, and we want to get a deposit address. So we're going to scroll down to MaxCoin. As you can see, I already have a couple of coins mined, but um, that just goes to show you the software is working. So I'm going to hit get deposit address and that's going to show you your address where coins will be deposited. So we're going to copy this and we'll keep this tab open for later. So we'll copy that address. Next thing we want to do, so we've copied the address, is download the software. Um, now that again the software might come up as a virus, so if you have Google Chrome, um, if I should give you a direct link here, it might show up as, yeah, this file is malicious. Chrome has blocked it. You could run this directly with IE or Firefox, it'll be fine, or the mega download, um, and I recommend the MSI, not the zip. It just will auto install and um, it'll be a little bit easier to uh, so just right click on this file and hit download. But if you do the um, MSI, it will auto install itself and uh, run real nice. So basically, you can open this now and just, again, Windows will show up. I'm trying to block it because it's not a very common, commonly used program, so that's fine. We're going to click Run anyway, and then we can go through the setup. Uh, I already have it set up, so I'm going to cancel this. Once it is set up, you're going. I put a, a, a link on the desktop, but it should just pop up here. Um, now we've got a couple things here. We're going to go down. We're going to find the coin. This software will mine a lot of different coins. So if later on you find that Max Coins is not profitable. Uh, go over to Prime Coin, Secure Coin, Quark Coin. And I'm going to keep updating the software, keep adding coins, and I'm going to try to add um, something called the most profitable coin at current time. So I'm going to keep changing that, and that will let you auto mine uh, the most profitable coin. So, alrighty. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to. Um, we're going to configure this software here. First thing we want to do is we're going to test to make sure that everything's working good. So we're going to select MaxCoin. Remember before we copied that receive address, we're going to paste that 
address into here. That will be your address being pasted into the receive coin address. Now we're going to go over to settings. We're going to verify it's max coin, verify it's unchecked invisible, verify it's idle and not idle. We can just save that. And it's saved. And then we're going to run this. And what should happen is you should get a pop up like this. And just wait for a minute or two. You should get, uh, here we go, we should get some hashing. Uh, should, and yeah, so this is, means it's basically working. Uh, and it'll show you how many co uh, threads you have. Um, you know, if you get a quad core or i7, depending what you have, you, the more threads, the faster it's going to mine. So once that's running good, which it is, we're going to stop this. And next we're going to just, I like to set it to mine only when my PC is idle. So if I'm using it, it doesn't slow my system down. So to do that, we're going to check off run invisibly. And I'm going to click PC idle. And select my coin that I'm going to mine, which is going to be max coin. Save that. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to run it. So now basically, you can see it went active. Um, it's going to run in the background. You can actually close the software out. And um, basically, yeah, it's, it's going to be mining now. Um, as you can see, Donald here is, is mining away. Now, it is only going to mine when uh, your PC is idle. If you want to mine 24-7 and you run it, it doesn't seem to slow the system down too much, go ahead and you can stop it and you can run idle and not idle. So depending on your chip and everything like that, you can do that. But um, that's about it. The, the last thing you're going to want to do is exclude um, the simple CPU miner from your antivirus. If you don't, the next time your antivirus scans, it's probably going to pick up the software as a virus and auto remove it, and then you won't be mining. So to do that in Norton, you're going to go into Norton here. You're going to go to settings. You're going to under items to exclude from scans. Configure that, and you're going to add folder choose the folder and where the folder we want to exclude is C program files x86 and minor exclude that I'm just going to copy this copy because there's one more place we need to put this in so you just copy this folder okay apply and then we go down to exclude also from auto scans and uh, sonar so we're going to add this folders, exclude, OK, apply, OK, OK. Now if you have McAfee or Kapersky, whatever you have, it might be a little bit different, but it should be a place you can exclude the folder from scans. Now you can uh, re-enable antivirus and you should be fine, no pop-ups or anything like that. If you'd like to donate, uh, feel free. All you need to do is just copy uh, this address here and then depending if you're using an online wallet you could withdraw or send me a coin or two if you'd like um, if you're mining something else you could um, send me memory coin, quark coin, anything else you want um, so that is about it um, I'll, now I'll just quickly review max coins and the pros and cons. The pro of max coin is it's very new. It's not been pre-mined. Uh, it got a lot of media attention so that is going to raise the value or price really quickly. The downside is they had a horrible launch so they were not prepared at all. They had to delay it and then the software wasn't re very well outputted so that's going to hurt its value. I would say definitely try to mine it, get some coins in there especially if it's early during the launch. Um, build your coins up and later on it might be something you want to just trade in for Bitcoin. Um, Another thing is it's CPU and GPU mined, which means you can mine it with your graphics card or um, CPU. I would have rather like to see them add the GPU later on so a bunch of botnets didn't get on there and kind of destroy the coin, but um, unfortunately they did not do that. So they released it right at launch, the GPU miner. Um, that it could be a good thing because a lot of uh, there's no not a lot of botnets out there that have the GPU um, power so that will kind of enable it to keep its value for a longer period of time and, and maybe even go up in value. Um, so right now the beginning is the easiest time to mine this coin and that is when I would mine it. So um, 
in order to kind of view its value as time goes on, um, what I would do is I would check out a website called, and I'll, I'll put this um, right on there, uh, on, on the website, it's Coin Market Cap, and, and see where it's listed, and you can kind of view the price. Right now, it's such a new coin, it's not been listed, um, but once it does, you can see it raise in value and uh, see, see kind of what happens with the coin. Um, another thing that's interesting is if you'd like to view um, kind of what's happening with how many more coins you're going to have, you can go to this link, max.1gh.com. You can put it in that wallet address that you had pasted in, submit that, and you can view how many coins you're going, already have been paid, uh, what's left to be paid, um, when last, you know, as long as you can view your mining status, everything like that. So that's kind of neat. Also, so if you have any questions, please feel free to write a comment at the bottom. If you have time, please give me a uh, Facebook like, tweet, um, Google Plus One, any of these. That would be awesome. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, good luck mining. I just wanted to say thank you for watching my video. And if you have some time, um, please click the subscribe button here and if you also liked it please give me the thumbs up like um, that will help my, my videos out greatly in my channel and finally you can actually um, view uh, more about my posts and videos at reviewoutlaw.com and I put a link here in the show notes. Thank you.